What's up guys, Russ Lyman here. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a DIY project on my scooter, turning it into Yoshi. That's right, the lovable dinosaur from the Super Mario franchise. I thought it fit perfect since I do drive a Super Mario car. And yeah, why not? My other modes of transportation, let's make it a scooter that looks like Yoshi. So let's get into the build. All right, what's up guys? I got my scooter right here. This is a Honda Metropolitan scooter. We're gonna be customizing it. I had my friend Jen hook me up with this awesome fiberglass structure right here. Yahoo! Boom. It's a Yoshi! So we're gonna be putting this somewhat on the scooter, like said there. Hollow on the inside right now and in two parts. So I have to, uh, make it one piece and then also find a way to attach it to the scooter down here. So there is this little piece on the scooter right here that attaches with two little screws right here. I'm thinking if I fiberglass a piece onto this, I'll be able to take it off with the screws, put it on and off so I can take the head, put it on when I want and take it off when I don't. So we're gonna get that prepped up right now. So I am going to be using fiberglass in what I'm doing to prep the scooter itself. I'm putting painter's tape over all the pieces I wish to kind of make a mold of. I'm gonna put painter's tape down, then packing tape, and then add a layer of wax. This just helps release the fiberglass from the tape itself. If you just put it right on the tape, it usually sticks to it really well. Having the painter's tape and the packing tape there definitely helps a lot better when you go to pull it off. And once that was all set, I was gonna mix up my fiberglass. I just picked this up at Home Depot. You could grab it at Walmart. They kinda have it anywhere. It's made by Bondo. It's like the cheap, version of it and I want to spend a lot on the resin itself so it's the resin and then the fiberglass material I'm using a mixture of the woven mat and then a uh, chop mat the chop mat is more fringe fringy I guess you could say when you pull it apart it has a lot of more hairs and stuff so they interlock together making it stronger but the woven mat kind of looks like a piece of fabric. It, it lays a little bit better, but you have to put more layers to make it stronger. So I'm kind of using a mixture of both materials. I just wheeled the scooter out into the sun. The sun is the best catalyst for hardening the resin that is the, on the fiberglass itself. So this way it hardens as one piece. The sun just speeds up that process. So I still have Yoshi's head is in uh, two separate pieces from how my friend Jen molded it. So I need to still mold that together, but I also need to fiberglass it to the piece on the scooter that we just made the copy of. And as you can see there, it popped off pretty easy. And now we just have to trim it so it fits a little bit more flusher and looks neater. Now the next step, of course, is attaching the Yoshi head to that piece and you have to kind of keep them there together. I tried to use hot glue, but that failed. So I came up with this trick. So I took jumper cables. Just attach them there and then put them in the seat to kind of hold it. So I'm just cutting away pieces of the bottom part of Yoshi's head so it can sit further back. It just kind of trial and error. All right, so here's the Yoshi head on the scooter the uh, two-part epoxy that I put hardened now. So it's on there okay, but we still have to go back with fiberglass. We have to fill in the seams 
because he was split in two there. And then we'll probably get some fiberglass up under here. There's a hole there just to kind of smooth this stuff out. But looks like it has a good gap there for, for turn radius. This way it's not, it's not rubbing on this here. And you can see all the epoxy, the two part right there, kind of like a clay consistency. But we want to try to keep this hollow inside so it doesn't weigh that much. And then I got access to my bolts right here, my little screws. So this way this piece will just pop right off. fiberglass all that and get the inside of it looking good. So what I'm using now is called Bondo glass. It's a mixture of Bondo and fiberglass. It has fiberglass strands in it so it's a little bit harder rather than just using ready body filler or Bondo. It's a little bit uh, more rigid so we're kind of building up some of the spots so we can smooth it out. So now it's all about making it as a whole structure, fiberglassing all the pieces together so it's like one unit, so this way it's not gonna break off being on there, bouncing around while I'm on the road. And we also have to fill in the gap that's on the back of Yoshi's head. It's completely uh, open right now. Then I do use some Bondo just to um, do that front piece that I'm making right there. Luckily with how we're going with the structure of Yoshi and he kind of has this like scaly textured skin, we don't have to get everything perfectly smooth, but we do have to get it uniform. So it's a lot of sanding, laying more Bondo on your piece again, letting it harden in the sun and then going back and sanding. I did this for multiple hours. So this front plate that I'm putting on the scooter, I'm making it so it's removable as well as the Yoshi head. This way I can take both parts off of the scooter and then it's just a regular green scooter. It's gonna have the Yoshi color match with the green on it, but then I could just drive it around town and I don't have to worry about uh, you know, leaving it somewhere, maybe someone vandalizing it or something like that. Or if I just wanna have a regular scooter, I can do that. And then if I wanna attach the front plate to it, I can easily put it back on. And it then again, it looks more like Yoshi rather than a regular scooter. So that's the reason of the front plate. All right, here's the Yoshi head as it is now. It's a lot of spotted areas, but I'm gonna see if I can use this stone paint right here. This way it gives it a texture, kind of giving, uh, you know, Yoshi like a skin. So we'll see how it turns out. Now probably if I covered this with the primer first, you wouldn't see through all this, but once we get a color on it, it should be good. All right, here is the front panel. I laid some Bondo glass right in here just to get a tighter seam. We're gonna clean us up, make it look a little nicer. Now you do see on that front piece, I kind of have a strip that goes across and up on the side and we're leaving the headlight exposed. I'm eventually gonna be putting a piece of white fabric over there to look like Yoshi's chest there. And this way the light still shines through the fabric. So that's why I made it open right there. But we're just buttoning it up, making it look a little bit neater and getting those lines nice. Again, more sanding, going back and forth, sanding, adding more Bondo. I just didn't film it all. Takes hours <laughs> just to get it right.
All right, got the fenders off. I need to peel these decals off and give it a light scuffing. Clean them up, get them ready for paint. Now we do have the regular pieces of the scooter that we are gonna change to green. So I have the fenders, the trunk, which is a storage trunk that attaches. It's currently black, so we wanna paint that green as well. And basically to prep them, I'm just wet sanding them with uh, 500 grit sandpaper just to give it a little bit scuffing on there so the primer will stick a lot better to that. Then once I got everything sanded, I brought everything to my paint booth in the back of the house and I'm just using a solution of 50% water and rubbing alcohol to prep everything. I have some shop towels and we're giving it a final wipe down with my gloves on so I don't get no fingerprints on there and we're gonna lay some primer on there. Picked up some good quality primer at the paint store. This way it adheres perfectly and everything is one color so when you lay the green down, it's not blotchy. All right, everything's all primered up. Looks good, and now we're gonna put some base coat. I got this awesome bright green that I got mixed up right here. We got two cans of this, so I'll be able to do these parts and the other parts as well that I have yet to prime, which are over here. And one more I'm still building. Let's go. Well, I'm gonna end the video short right here. Unfortunately, guys, you'll have to wait for part two to see me finish up the Yoshi scooter. We're gonna be finishing up the lime green paint job. So bright and awesome. And a reassembly of the parts in the final ride. We gotta get that awesome B-roll footage of me cruising around on the Yoshi scooter. So I hope you guys stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that video. And as always, guys, I'm Russ Lyman and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video. And I want to give a super shout out to all my Patreon supporters, Dan Buchanan, George Sandoval, Joseph Riviera, Nintendo, Kelly Moore, David Apuzo, Maynard, Joe Shivi, Techwiz X, Matthew Hannigan, Alex Kaz, Ian Oshi, Ganaman, Rock Solid Productions, Turbo Jesse, and everyone on my Patreon. Link below if you want to join, and I'll see you later.